Ecuador is known for its natural beauty, friendly people, great medical facilities, and reasonable cost of living. Nestled in the Andes Mountains, Cuenca, with its charming colonial architecture and 70-degree year-round temperatures, is attracting people from all over the world to make their home here. An average budget for a short-term resident staying less than three months, renting a private room in the city center, and eating out most meals is less than $1,200 per month. Expats living long-term in Cuenca report living an upper-middle-class lifestyle for around $940 a month per person. Coming up, we'll hear from local residents about their cost of living in Cuenca, Ecuador. It's a lot less than it is in the States. I'd say most people's budgets are anywhere from fifteen to maybe $2,000 a month per couple. But there are a lot of people that live, live on a lot less. You can find apartments for three, four hundred dollars a month, and and you can pay as much as you know twelve hundred dollars a month. Same thing with houses. Buying a home in Ecuador is a fairly simple process. For as little as sixty-five thousand dollars, you can find a two-bedroom condo near shopping areas and a short cab ride from El Centro. One hundred and twenty thousand dollars can buy a modern three-bedroom, three-bath home with high-end finishes. Our apartment is the central courtyard with a glass roof over it, which we're using as our living room and dining room. And then we have rooms off the sides. We have a really big kitchen and a salon that is my husband's uh, study and our TV room. We have a bedroom that has a walk-in closet and a bathroom. And then another bedroom, which is my craft room, that also has a walk-in closet and a bathroom. And we have a third, they call them social bathrooms here. It's just like a half bath in the United States. And then off that is a a storage closet, a bodega for us. Um, so that's our house and it's it's a pretty cool house and, and they did hand painted finish work on the Corbels. They reused the original wood in the doors. They, they saved as much of the original structure as they could. Um, they handmade wrought iron inserts for the transoms above the doors. And for this we pay $450 a month rent. This is our third year here and it may go up uh, another $50 or whatever. But when we first moved in, it was $450. They said they would raise it, but they like us, so they just kept it at the same rate. Our utilities here, I uh, pay uh, $33 a month for internet. Uh, water is about $5 to $8. Electricity is about $25. And then uh, our internet, we have to have a phone line to connect, and that's a $3. Our monthly budget here is about fifteen to two thousand dollars a month. Does a trendy location overlooking the river appeal to you? Um, well, I have a studio, and it's perfect for my needs. I mean, I don't really—it's fully furnished, and I don't really need more than that. So why, you know, why would you why would you take something bigger than what you need? And I paid—I'm uh, paying four hundred and ten dollars a month. And that's probably more than you could. I could get cheaper places. Actually, this is just a really nice. Uh, just a really nice spot and I have a really great landlord, so sort of that's why I'm sticking with it. And of course the location. And what's the cost of living in a trendy location if you're not watching your budget? It's under fifteen hundred. And that's that's me not trying to save money. It's because I'm a tech guy and I don't want to waste my time shopping for groceries. I just go to the, the supermarket instead of going to the, the local market. Um, so I know I'm overpaying, so I, if I paid attention, I could probably get that down to $1,200 more, and that includes the $410 rent. And like I said, I'm not really, I'm not splurging, but I'm not, uh, I'm not counting my pennies either. It's, it's a lazy, it's a lazy budget, let's put it that way, for convenience. I think a couple could probably stay for almost the same thing, really, because the only thing that increases would be maybe your food a little bit, and maybe you'd go obviously to a slightly larger apartment, so you maybe pay $100 more, but um, yeah. Maybe a single family home with a yard and a garden in a suburban neighborhood is more your style. Our house is, uh, it's an older house, but it's very Ecuadorian. It has three bedrooms and an office, and most houses are two story. And uh, it's just, it's charming. Uh, the rent in our home is uh, 700 
and we have a guard across the street, Luis, who is just absolutely precious. We pay him $50 a month to look out for us. Our gas is propane, and we buy our big tanks. You know, in the States, you get the little ones like this. Well, here, they, they get this big. And uh, we go down to the Mercado, and they're $1.74 a tank. And we go through maybe three, three and a half tanks a month. Our electricity is maybe $60. Water is $8. Our utilities are just nothing. Our budget here runs, I would, I'm gonna throw out a guess here. We average is about, I'd say about 2,000 a month for both of us. Uh, and that's car, you know, that's the house, you, you know, utilities, insurance, the whole, you know, everything. Uh, you can find a, a place for $200 a month if you want to. And you can spend 2000 a month on an apartment. It depends on what you want to do. More information about living in Cuenca is available in the full-length video, Living and Retiring in Cuenca, Ecuador, from livingoverseas.tv. Please remember to give us a like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video.